Hi guys, so today I'm gonna share with you a quick and easy uh, banana cake recipe. Um, this is a very general recipe. This is one um, I've started using a couple of years ago. I really like it. It makes for a nice, light, um, almost pound cake consistency, a little bit lighter than pound cake, but not like a regular sheet cake. It's, it's really got a lot of flavor in it, so um, I thought I would share that with you today. Um, I've really enjoyed being in my kitchen today. I've made a couple of other things, and I wanted to share this with you. Okay, so in my mixing bowl, I have three cups of white sugar, to which I am going to add one cup of vegetable oil. Now, if you are like me and you would not, you don't like to cook with oil, um, just for various reasons, you could substitute applesauce for this very easily. Um, typically, I would. I'm actually out of applesauce because my kids have eaten it all. Um, but it's a very easy substitute. You can substitute applesauce for oil, or even yogurt um, works well as a substitute for oil in recipes. Um, so I'm going to go on and put the head down, lock it into place, and start my mixer. And I'm just going to let that mix until the sugar is completely wet. Um, I don't want it to be too uh, dry in, in any one place. Um, and so I'm just going to let it mix. And now I'm going to add four whole eggs to this. Now again, the eggs I'm using are fresh eggs. Um, if you don't, if you, you know, you go to the store and you buy eggs, that's fine, but you want to use a large egg. Um, that's what this recipe was made with originally, and that's what's going to give you the right amount of uh, protein, and that protein helps solidify your cake batter as the proteins uh, cook and they coagulate, so you really want to use um, four large eggs in this. So, once this has been mixed, we're going to now add in um, two ripe bananas. Now, if you look at my bananas, you will notice that I have taken them. Um, these were extremely ripe bananas, like the skins were, were almost completely black, which is really what you want in, if you're making like a, a bread out of them, because you get a lot of banana flavor when they're that ripe. And I have just mashed and mashed and mashed until I have gotten them to a liquidy consistency. And this is going to get mixed in to my egg and oil and sugar mixture. Very easy. Just get it all in there. You want to make sure you get all that good banana in there. And then we're just going to let that incorporate. So, um, to my mixer, I'm going to add two-thirds a cup of water, um, and this just gets mixed into the um, sugar, egg, banana, and oil mixture. And we're going to let that mix in. It just makes this cake super moist. You could substitute milk or soy milk to this. Um, it works just as good, um, but it, this recipe... Um, I prefer to use the water. It's just a personal preference. Now I'm going to start working on my dry ingredients. In this bowl, I have three and one-third cups all-purpose flour. I have two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. You can also do um, one teaspoon of cinnamon and follow that up with a half teaspoon of nutmeg or ginger or cloves if you prefer those flavors. Again, this is an easy recipe. This is one you can definitely alter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all of my dry ingredients in my bowl with my flour. And I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to toss that and mix those spices completely into um, my flour so that there's not like one spot with a lot of um, salt or seasoning in there. Once that's been done, I'm going to turn my mixer off and I'm going to remove it 
from the stand. And the reason being is I really like to hand mix my flour with my wet ingredients in this recipe. I find that the mixer just over mixes it a little bit, makes it a little tougher than I want it to be. So I'm gonna stop and I'm going to um, hand mix in my ingredients and I'll show you the batter in just a moment. All right, as you can see, I've added my flour to uh, my mixing bowl that has the banana and oil and sugar mixture in it. And I'm just gonna um, fold the flour in until it gets to be a um, evenly mixed mixture. I don't want it to be clumps of flour um, in here, but I don't want to over mix it. I don't want to make it tough. And, it, and I find that if I use my stand mixer or a hand mixer to do that part, it really does come out a little tougher than I want it to be. So I will show you uh, the completely mixed product in just a few moments. And then I will show you um, the pan when I pan it up. Now I actually bake this in a, um, a bunt pan, which has been sprayed with pan spray. If you don't have a bunt pan, you can easily put this into two bread pans um, or even a nine by 13 cake pan would work for this. Um, so I'm gonna finish mixing this up very quickly and then panning it up and I'll show you it uh, in the pan, ready to go in the oven. All right, as you can see, I have finished mixing my cake batter. Um, I've got it in my bunt pan. This is a standard bunt. Um, and this is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for approximately an hour and 30 minutes. Um, and when it comes out, it's nice and golden brown on top. Um, it, it's got an amazing banana flavor to it. When it comes out and I've uh, plated it, I will show you what it looks like. See you soon.